here we have our thermal stencil printer. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use it, common issues you'll have with it, and where you can find them. Turn this thing on. So you usually wait for that beep there, and that means it's good to go. Now in order for this to work, you're going to need a printer. I like to use Procreate to make my stencils. So we have this stencil of Biggie here. So we're gonna print this out and then I'm gonna show you guys how this works. Another thing I like to point out is that whenever, whatever uh, software you're using, you wanna make sure that when you're drawing out your stencils that your ratio is true to the ratio of a piece of paper. So now we have our stencil here ready to go. Okay, the other thing you're gonna need is your stencil sheet, of course. For me personally, the brand Spirit has worked the best. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is you want the white sheet sitting on top of the blue sheet, okay? You're gonna lift this flap here and bring it between this slot. And you want this edge here, the paper, that is it doesn't have the blue part showing that's just clear you want that part sticking out so that way you can um, grab this and pull it through because there's a mechanism here that um, rolls the stencil out but you want to assist it by you know just give it just making sure the paper goes through all the way so we close this on the edge here and you should hear that sound okay now that we got our edge here, now we are going to take our stencil and you want the stencil face downwards. And this is why we have mirror on so that way this doesn't come out on the opposite side reflecting like flipped, flipped the other way around. So you want to make sure you have mirror on. You should hear that once you plug the paper in, face it with the stencil facing downwards. Then you're gonna hit copy, okay? Hit copy, and we just grab this piece and guide it through. The paper's gonna come out the bottom here. And you'll see the stencil coming out right here. And once you have what you need, you don't have to wait for it to go all the way through. You can just press stop. It'll push the rest of the paper out. Then you can take this flap off, remove it, and voila, you have your stencil. A couple of other things I, I would uh, troubleshoot is common issues that this thing can have is that sheet of paper gets ate up into the track here. So it doesn't end up coming out. It just gets pushed back in and it gets stuck here. So. What you're gonna have to do is remove this part. So you're gonna have to lift this front panel off. This part comes off here. And then that's gonna allow you to remove any of the uh, sheet that gets stuck in this area. Um, another thing you can do too is while you have this up, the stencil builds up on this. So you can, um, you know, give it a little wipe, rotate it and try and clean it off to make sure that there's no buildup of uh, uh, stencil solution on your new stencils. Another thing you wanna pay attention to is where you're, how high up you're on the paper, you print out your stencil to see how the crown got cut off here. That's because I probably put this a little bit too high on the piece of paper. And so it takes a moment before the, the thermal printer starts reading the stencil and so parts of it can get cut off. So you wanna have like a inch or two inch gap at the edge of the paper just to prevent that. Now, the easiest place I would recommend finding these is on Amazon. I have them in my Amazon's affiliate store. So you can check the link below to look for those. There's multiple brands that have them. They're all pretty similar. Um, another place you'll likely find them is in your local tattoo supply store. So. Uh, call around and check to see if they have these available, but I would say the, at your most convenience, it'd be easiest to get them on Amazon.